Hey guys, so I was on social media and I uh, seen this guy breaking down some numbers on when he bought a house compared to when he sold it and if uh, home ownership is worth it. And this conversation has come up uh, with multiple people that I've uh, talked to. So I just wanted to break it down and uh, see how I run my numbers prior to uh, buy me buying a home or even an investment property. Hey guys, on this example, I'm looking at a purchase price of 650,000 in Vancouver. 650,000 is uh, a condo most likely or uh, a townhouse in certain areas of the city. Let's just say down payment of 10%, which is 65,000, gives you a mortgage of 585,000. Look guys, I'm, I'm breaking these numbers down based on bank financing, not private lending, what I do. If I break this down on a 25 year mortgage at 3.5%, you're looking at a mortgage payment of $2,928.65. We're looking at Strata Homeowners Association fee of roughly $300. And we're looking at property tax. Typically for the, for the year will be $1,500. So I'm breaking that down into 12 months, which is $133. So if I do those calculations, we co we're coming up yearly. The expense would be $40,339.80 but I'm not taking into consideration repairs and maintenance. If there's any of that, you know, let's just say you buy this place out to, uh, to rent. I'm not taking it into consideration any vacancy factors there. So you have to calculate that as well. Now, let's just say I was to rent that same condo. It'll roughly cost me about 2,000 a month, which is 24,000. So the difference is about 16,000. Sure, on the short term, if I was to sell that on the short term, and let's just say the market appreciates by 6%, I pretty much lost money on that one. So real estate for somebody that's gonna buy this and thinking they're gonna flip it in uh, in a year, especially I, I don't take into consideration the transfer tax and also uh, real estate fees, buying and selling the property, uh, you're gonna be in the water but if this was a long haul let's just say 10 years 15 years 20 years which i think real estate and i believe real estate in the long run is a, is a good bet then i think this will be a great purchase when i was buying and flipping homes what i used to do was i i had a, a excel document that uh, i had on my phone so i walk into the property uh and these were you know we're talking about condos and townhouses right now we'll walk in and go room by room exactly what the cost that i think it's going to cost me and by the time i was done viewing that property i know at the end how much i need to offer and then how much we can actually sell this property for to make it profitable if it was marginal we always walked away and back then i was doing flips anywhere between two to three months we're in and out i'm a strong believer that real estate is a great investment for for families another thing real estate is great for is let's just say in this situation here where instead of purchasing you're just going to rent right so instead of you know dishing out forty thousand a year you're dishing out twenty four thousand in rent so the $65,000 down payment, you're actually keeping that down payment, you're investing it somewhere else. And then the difference of 1,600 a month, you're banking that. But let's say you're not good with money and all of a sudden that 65,000, you go and buy a new car and then you go on a vacation. That 65,000 is wiped out, you're not gonna get that back. The 1,600 a month that you're saving and if you're spending down on restaurants and drinking and going out all the time, that's gone. So real estate becomes a savings account. It becomes a forced savings account for somebody that's not good with savings. Now, on the other hand, if you are an entrepreneur and you can deploy that 65,000, hire an assistant, you know, invest in technology that you need and use that 1600 a month that's coming in to maybe run some ads to grow your business and you can come back and buy a house or a condo in a few years or you know, 10 years later, cash. See, that's a good idea. So it just, it all balances out, right? So if you're not that good with money, then you know this, it becomes a really good savings account. But if you're great with money, I would uh, deploy that capital, uh, especially in, in, in a situation like this one here, when, when you buy it for 650, deploy that capital somewhere else uh, to make you money and uh, to drive your business and then come back and, and buy cash. Anyways, guys, I just wanted uh, a quick breakdown of the numbers that I just did here. Is uh, real estate worth it? Well, those are the numbers that I do before I uh, I jump into anything. 
uh, for me personally right now for the next maybe five even ten years I'm not looking at real estate because I got other goals in life and for me it's to build build a bigger much bigger business and then uh, when the time for real estate comes I'm not gonna be worried about a mortgage I'm buying the cash anyways guys I hope I brought you value uh, please like and share if I have subscribe to the podcast link is below live it up guys live it up Thank you.